They have a profile completed about their organization online with the Arizona Community Foundation that they serve residents in Yavapai County. A wonderful lady wanted to leave a legacy for law enforcement canines, and now that fund continues to grow and makes all the difference for providing additional support to our police and sheriff's office. The economy is picking back up. We're getting increased numbers of inspection requests for houses under construction. So we are very glad to go back to the five-day service. We see more and more demand every day. It's so important for our citizens and for our business and for our local economy to keep our community moving. The state had a program called Local Transportation Assistance Fund that was actually abolished in some of the funding cutbacks the state has done, so it's not a revenue source anymore. So we've gone from a 25% match to funding 100% here with local dollars. Many of the calls came in anonymously. Deputies went out and could not find any evidence of fireworks being lit off. But in some cases, they did contact folks that were doing fireworks, warned them, and they were very cooperative. Once told, they agreed to stop and did so, so we appreciated that. I think some folks felt that since we had rain that it might be safe and took it upon themselves maybe to light off a few.